And she says, unfortunate for you that you would be on a vessel such as this. Though I dislike the downing of trees, people must get around and find shelter. This also uses metal. I cannot abide metal. Sorry. Nor can I, though I would appreciate if you did not burn our boat. You are different. You are ancient. You are old, and you are precious to some. Sail west, and you will know what I speak of. City of no name? <clears throat> Obviously. There are more like you there. Many more like you. Just as ancient, just as precious. You were once a race. You are now a people. Caution. If you go to the lake, you will find the meaning of its name. Ooh. I will not spoil the surprise by telling you. How kind of you. I sense you are... Not that much. <laughs> uh -huh. I sense you are on a mission of some importance. So I will not keep you. I only ask and this is, of course, a request, not a demand. What is this important mission your mind speak of so loudly? Ricalo and Victor and Zyra. Yeah. Oh, good. She's telepathic. Uh, only surface thoughts. It's a specific spell. Um, the three of you can tell that your surface thoughts have been read. I would immediately block. Um, you have that ability. Elevator music. Um, but basically what it is is, um, again, because of the situation, you guys, your surface thoughts would be about your mission. Yeah. She asked, what are you doing here? He asked, what are you doing here? Therefore, your th surface thoughts would be what you are doing here. Right. However, most of you are clever enough to just be like, well, we're on a mission. In your head. And that is your direct surface thought. So she knows you're on an important mission because of that. Um, I'm not sure if if Grandius would be able to pick up on that, uh, excuse me, and I doubt that, um, <coughs> well, maybe, I don't know, uh, if, um, crap, I don't remember his name now. Ornan? Ornan. I don't know if Ornan would be able to pick up on it either, um, but Zyra and Victor and Ricalo, the spell is a common one. I don't remember I don't the name of it, but it just picks up on uh, surface thoughts. And the person is aware. Um, that's the downside to the spell. So, Ricardo, yeah. you automatically block it when you feel it. Yep. But other people aren't able to do that. Right. So she, and just to, to move on real quickly, she, she requests 
the knowledge of your quest. We are also troubled by the evil on these waters. <clears throat> are you tasked by yourselves or are you tasked by another? I would probably <laughs> I would I would do a little look around at the group to see to see if if I can you know get anything see see how much what everyone thinks yeah, whether I should by another let's just say we were hired mm. it doesn't really give away too much Well, you figure, I mean, from earlier in the conversation, she basically said she was hired, too. Right. These people asked her to help. She was bored. She said yes. So, in a sense, she was hired. Right. Be with your shame and not be stunned by beauty. Hush. <laughs> was that in character? <laughs> it was not in character. <laughs> oh, which of us are you talking to? Oh, uh, I was talking to 1092. Right. Part of me wants to say something, but I don't think it would work. I, I don't it's, think I, I might get hurt if I say if something. If you want, it's fine. Like you, yeah, I, you I, I might will not protect you, you, you if you, she you're, attacks you. Know. you. I might say it softly. I, I think Victor's lost for words based on her beauty. So but that's that's, that's that actually to, an important saying that to Ricardo beside him. I think I think is so. Yeah. Is the time that I like that? That's actually something that's. Um... She didn't hear you. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> but it is the time Although, that I, as I can imagine, I'd be in the water. Okay, what what's that, Victor? Is the time that I take to measure my words, does, is, is this real time, or, or am I allowed a little bit to sort of consider what I want to say? You're allowed a little bit to consider what you want to say, I, it, it, and it won't, it won't uh, affect real time unless a lot of time passes. Okay. At which point we just call a delay of game, and, and she stares at you intently, or, <laughs> or I say something else. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold on a second. The next time I find anything that is alive, I'm going to tie you up with it. I don't know if that's a threat or not. You're saying that to her? <laughs> she might like that. I mean, um, so uh, she's asking you yeah, if you were, hired. are you here by your own accord or were you, are you here for somebody else? Our goals and another's aligned fortuitously. At which point she says, as am I. Then she walks toward you and she takes her hand and she puts it on your arm. Now, do you have sleeves? Or are you bare arm? Uh, I, I am wearing that elvish leaf. Or the leaf armor? Yeah. Okay, uh, that can either be like a breastplate, or it can have sleeves. Which one do you prefer? I would probably be uh, sleeves. Okay. She touches your hand then. Um, anywhere that she can find the skin, which sounds weird. Mm. But in the background, in the background, in the 1092 and the uh, column next to each other. Oh! She, she <clears throat> actually, she takes both of your hands like this, um, okay. with if you can see my camera, yep. with her thumbs on your the back of your hands. Right. She closes her eyes, which relaxes you, and you instinctively close yours. Yeah, I was going to say, I followed suit. And then you do um, what I, um, I 
basically stole from Dark Crystal and gave to druids a form okay. of communication called Dream Fasting. Cool. Where the two of you basically, in a span of only a moment, see parts of each other's lives. You don't know everything. But you choose to... It's sort of like a choice, but it isn't a choice. If there's anything that you definitely want blocked, you know, like you kissed your cousin back in 1993 and don't want anybody to know... Tony, you know, you're trying to tell us something. I was going to say, Tony, uh, is there something we should know? I picked a random thing at a random date. Uh-huh. The random All date. Right. The date actually came from a song called If I Didn't Have You, Someone Else Would Do. Um, it's a song about math. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> right. So basically, if there's something you definitely don't want to... Um, put forward, you can block that from the dream fast. Um, a lot of it is just memories. Fond memories of a mom, or the day that you were, you know, the day that you realized you had druidic powers, you know, things like that. Fond memories, most of them. Um, as well as things like, oh, you know, when you were 13, you were hit in the head with a baseball bat by a guy named Vinny. You know. Um, things like that. Not always pleasant, but you kind of, you learn about each other. Through this, you see a lot of her training in specific druidic magic. Specific okay. mental magic. Okay. A sect of druid druidic magic that you don't know. Basically, this is where new magic comes into my world. And this I'm going to where... murder you guys. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, you were saying, Tony. Tony's Sorry there isn't but... enough things going on between character. We're just making it happen. Come on. <laughs> um, so, basically, what, what happens is you... you uh, this is a type of druidic magic that I've always had in my world. Um, it is not in any of the books, but it does follow the book rules. Okay. Um, basically what it is, is each element has its own form of training. Kind of like bending, but not. Um, and when she pulls her hands away, not only do the two of you know more about each other, and we can discuss that another time if it becomes relevant. Okay. But you notice that the back of your hands have two blue glowing wavy lines on both of the back of your hand. The glowing dissipates, but there are still faint, now gray, um, wave markings on your hand, on your the back of your hand. Um, and through the dream fasting, you're basically trained in the first, the very first, like, level zero, um, of her type of druidic magic. This is deep, ancient druidic magic. Um, and you now have the ability to use water, I guess, is the best way to say it. You can practically do anything with water. You can stand on it. You can breathe in it. You can move through it like it's air. Um, you can manipulate it to look like things and use things. Like, she created, you know, five or six of these big beast hands on the <sighs> You can create one shape of water. Kind of like 1092 shape earth with his hammer. You can now do that with water. Okay. Oh, great. We've got earth bending. we got uh, water bending. Where's the fire and air? Who's got those? 
I or he doesn't have fireball. Rat. Anyway. I already made the avatar reference. You can't take it now. Hey, yeah, well, so now I have the very true. And in the dream, the fireball, fireball. So now we need the air. I would have avoided as much as I could um, any. I, I would have tried to uh, block any reference to the stabs as much as. Yes. Yep. That to, to the extent that I could. Cause yeah. You, kind you, of a big deal at this point. Yeah. The thing is, though, is you get the sense that she already knows about them. But didn't well, he... right. She but... doesn't know that you're after them. Yeah. That I mean, that's what I would like. I understand that people yeah. in the world know but about the stats. I would have been trying say, to. Didn't the wizard tell us last time we saw him that we didn't have to keep it a secret anymore, and that we were supposed to openly look for them now? As a matter of fact, he did. Yeah, I thought so. So we want her to know. We want people to know. Maybe we can get some information well, from her. Well, that's all well and good, but I had forgotten about that. And what? No, that's fine. Yep, you can keep that from her, or you can openly tell her. You can retcon it if you want. But I think I would still be cautious about it, in spite of what the wizard said. Yep, no, that's really fine. My girl is ready for this finger to Oh, jeez. Amazing. What the hell? I mean, horrible. How on earth did they my manage that? Close them. Have you never oh. shut your own fingers in a door by accident before? No, they. she said they shut each other's fingers in a door. It sounds like they were being dumb and was closing the door on each other. I shut the door on Michael's fingers once when he tried to walk into you in the bathroom. <laughs> you also closed the door on my head once. <laughs> I might have done that on purpose, I think. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> thanks! No, I know yeah. I didn't do that on purpose. So, while Cyrus busy, would I have noticed, would I have picked up at all on them being fools behind? <laughs> Should I roll perception or something We for didn't that, do or? anything. We don't know what you're talking about. I can see the text chat, but, like. Yeah, but didn't I, there's, there's, that, I, that's what I'm curious about. In character, do I, am I aware of any of this? Well, let me put it this I mean, way. Like, Okay, I see. So they are doing it in character. <laughs> so it's canon. Yeah, we we are we are doing it in character. So <laughs> behind, let, behind the behind. Let the me do something here. <laughs> okay. They rolled an eleven. The DC was a ten because it was an easy DC. She saw it. Oh God. <laughs> and you know about it. But you don't know exactly what they were doing. <laughs> you only know that they were being foolish about the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going in the tree. I'm going oh. to motion to the newly um, the new tattoo I have on the back of my hand. It's like I will throw you overboard. <laughs> and I point I point to the hammer behind my back. <laughs> It's not going to do you much good in the middle of the water. I have Aquaman powers, motherfucker. <laughs> cool, you want to test them out? Actually, maybe, but maybe later. Oh god. I will, <laughs> I repeat, throw you overboard. Oh god. I can walk to shore. Okay. This you may have boat. Aquaman powers, but if he's holding you down there with a water Bigby's hand, but I Aquaman move can't get out of that. But I move through water like it's air. So do I now, apparently. Yeah, but you would still. There's be a difference between that. walking through natural water <laughs> and walking through walk an through elemental. A water elemental's hand. You'll have to give up on the spell eventually. I can stay down there for a while. I didn't say it was concentration. Yeah, that's that's an interesting point. I mean, mostly, I, I, I really, if I did, I would just be trying to throw him overboard. I would right. not be, like, trying to... <laughs> Victor I mean, I'm aware of the fact me. that I cannot... <laughs> Victor just looks over at me, just does a small two-finger wave, and just a little thing, and then just water rushes over, forcing me off the boat. <laughs> no, I would grab you with a hand and throw you, but... It takes a lot more than waving two fingers, especially for Victor, because he's a basic. Mm. Yeah. Okay, she probably does it. I don't know. Tony hasn't said anything that she did for a reaction. No, yeah, that's... 
He did say that she noticed, but he has he hasn't said she reacted in any way. So maybe not. If I'd have rolled higher than an eleven, then she would have told you. But I did. I only rolled an eleven. So like she would have told <laughs> them <laughs> off, or been more specific to me. She would have been more specific to you okay. about what they were doing. Yeah, but I I'm sure I can guess since I have spent at least six months with these idiots. Right. <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. Although I have something to say to you once she leaves the boat. Uh. <laughs> anyway, to move things along, because it is 9.51. Yep. She parts, you know, she steps back out on the water after it raises up. Um kind of indicating to you in a very druidic way, so all other people see is her sort of indicating to the water very regally. But oh. in your mind, Victor, you get, you could do this too, isn't it cool? <laughs> um, it's totally sick. Also, I would have thanked her in druidic after I saw what she had done. With yep. the now, a per personal question: Would the uh, tattoo that has appeared on Victor's hand did that disappear from her? No. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My next question is: When I go into the it water, it is a form <clears throat> of druidic training in my world. Dream fasting not only is it communication, but you can also train through that. Right. But you can only train the most basic, basic basic level through dream yes. fasting. The rest of it has to come through time and experience. Right. I, I, I just wasn't sure if it was like a form of transference where where once done quote unquote dream fast training mm -hmm. if, if she transfers that ability or if, if it just happens to appear on him. That's also... Is this something you probably I can... wouldn't know this, Ricalo, but um, um, Victor, um, you would know that more ancient druids, this is how a power was bestowed upon them. Whereas now it just kind of comes from nature. You know how you get new abilities, they just kind of become a thing. Yeah. Um, in the ancient days, nature had to basically encompass a being. And then that being would bestow the powers on other people. Not like a god, not a demigod, just a different kind of person. Once that person was a gnome, or an elf, or a half-elf, or a half-orc, or one of the races, then nature basically said, you're mine. You are one with me. And they called them wildlings. Wildlings are supposed to be long since extinct. Because the nature of druidic magic changed. However, through the dream fast, you know that somewhere in the northern elven woods, there is a hidden sort of race of wildlings. They still exist. In a very small amount. Interesting. And <clears throat> you have been given a wildling ability. Which is a form of druidic magic. It can only be bestowed among druids. So now that she's off the boat, so when did you guys? You said day? northern elvish wastes. Yes, somewhere in the northern elvish woods. Uh, you don't know where exactly. She kept that from you. Probably with reason. So, uh, hey, hey, Victor. Um, before she, um. Yeah. Would I understand that this is something I can 
develop on my own or do I need more um, teachers to get increase my skill and a little bit of both um, you can develop it on your own until you go to the next step okay at which point the ability to go to the next step needs to be given to you like you learn everything about let's say just giving it levels for terms but that this isn't levels isn't how it works but just for ease of explanation you learn yeah. everything about level one and then a teacher has to bestow the ability to go to level two. And then you learn everything about that. And then another teacher has to give you that ability. So does it, so I could not find her again and have her pass on the next level, you know, air quotes. Well, <clears throat> finding her again may not be easy but you do get the sense that she's not unfindable like right now she's with these people you find them you find her I, I mean Victor, Victor's already trying to set up his second date I was about to say Dude. so uh hey, hey Victor when's your next date with her in response I smacked him with some water <laughs> Um, no, but I, in terms, like, but in a, like, does it have to be a different person each time that's showing me how to use this power, or? It can be, any, I... it can be any wildling who has that level of ability. Okay. Thank you. So it doesn't have to be her. Once you've learned all of level one, you can go to any wildling who is level two or higher. And again, the levels, I'm using them just to explain, yep. you know, how yeah. it works. There is no actual level one, two, three, or four wildling. It's right. not a class. It, it, but it, it, to learn the next, to learn the, 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 the higher form of magic, you have to go to a wildling who has that or above. And I, I just use the term level one, two, and three just to give it an easier explanation. Yeah. Kind of like skills almost in a, in a video game. Like you can go down a skill tree. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, also in response to 1092 being himself, I'm interested to test out the, um, the new powers and I'm going to try and smack him with it. Smack him with water. <laughs> okay. What I need you to do is I need you to excuse me. Give me a second to breathe. I think properly. I like you. Victor. Are you sharing that to her or to me? Maybe. I didn't actually catch what you said. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um depends on if you hit me or not wisdom. that's what i thought okay i need you to make a just a basic wisdom spell attack basically use your plus six spell okay. attack bonus so d20 plus six yeah d20 plus six it's going to be against his ac because it is attack um, not quite knowing exactly how to use it, um, you basically splash a little water on him. You don't smack him with a, a water hand. Um, but quickly looking over, you notice that there's headed back, and she is facing away from you, using her ability to move the boat. She didn't notice that you flubbed the spell. I would like to pretend that that was what I was going for. Make a deception check. Against um, whoever you want to deceive's insight. <laughs> Probably me. Well, him, obviously, but is there anybody else that you're trying to... Um, I mean, realistically, 
I mean, particularly him, but really, I, I, I want it to seem to everyone, at least everyone on the boat, that that's what I... Okay, so everybody roll and do oh. three versus four deception. <laughs> oh, well, apparently I don't know shit. Wow. I'm trying to figure out what just splashed me. I'm trying to figure out what just splashed me. Amazing. So any insight or perception? Insight. We're right, we're I'm rolling insight. I'm apparently just trying to figure out what just splashed me. God damn it, Rikolo. Right, right, so Zyra and Rikolo, you know that he flubbed the spell. You know also that 1092 doesn't know that he flubbed the spell. It's up to you guys how to react. That's it? I just chuckle. <laughs> 1092. That, that's it? Really? I, I was I expecting something a little bit greater from that one. He I likes you, by the way! Him going to use dancing lights to outline his hands. My okay. hands? Then I just do quickly shouts overboard, I think he likes you! And then he goes hand. back to the cabin. Uh, 1092, <laughs> you are wet. <laughs> you are at the bottom of a body of water. Wait, wait, how did I get here? And it is dark. <laughs> How did I get here? You remember only <laughs> seeing a wall of water come at you. I I silently thank her. Um, you get a cool mist kind of breeze. Like, she's I, using both her wind ability and her water ability to kind of say you're welcome in a way that isn't using words. Now, mind you, she's halfway to the shore now. And she's doing this from that far out. You're a half mile away from the shore. And now I'm on the bottom of the water trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> 1092, it is warm. Welcome to the bottom of Lake Fire. The rest of you saw him get taken off, and only him, by a wall of water, and you did not see him or the wall of water hit the other side of the boat. It grabbed him and disappeared. Victor, you know where he is. <laughs> I have hmm. a slightly smug smile that I'm trying to hide, but it's probably not that successful. Know you also know that no harm will come of him. He is being protected, even though he is currently at the bottom of Lake Fire. V Victor, did you say you're trying to hide? His smile. Oh, hide your smile. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to pretend I'm not pleased that he's at the bottom of the lake. But I imagine pretty unsuccessfully, since I'm quite pleased. I do it I'm not even making any roll for that. Everybody can see that you've got a smile on your face. I do it just scratching his head. Uh, so anyway, we have a new destination. We gotta go to the lake. You get the idea also um, that that that's where the bulk of the activity is happening right now? Probably because she is here. She is a powerful wildling, and Pirates ain't coming here. They scared? Probably. Besides, they have an invisible boat. And a powerful wildling. I'll see you guys on the edge of the... Uh, see you guys on the edge of the, of the lake. <laughs> so, next week, because it is 10 o'clock... We are going to start out having traveled the multiple days to get to the edge that is right here of Lake Fire. And 1092, is, as soon as you get there, is going to be plopped back onto your boat. So, um, basically, <clears throat> that's where we're going to start off is after you've arrived and 
1092 has been deposited back on the deck. The lower deck, but back on the deck. That's where we're going to start out. So technically, all of that has already happened. Okay. The first thing that he does once he gets back in the boat, take the head off and just kind of shake out the water and possibly a fish. Um, Lake Fire is steaming. Just to give you guys a description before next week, because I don't want to have to do it again. Um, Lake Fire <clears throat> is a lake where steam is coming off of it, but it is hot tub or hot spring um, that's swimmable. Is there like However, a volcano underneath it? Well, as 1092 will attest to, the further down you go, the uh -huh. hotter it gets to the point where uh, once you get to the bottom, um, humanoids normally would not be able to survive it. 1092 was protected. Right. By the wild so, one. So she held him there at the bottom of the lake for several days. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, and I was about to use my hammer to see if I could get to the shore. You can move. You can oh. move around in a little bit of a pocket. <laughs> Just looking around. Huh. Um, there are no fish. I mean, can you even see? You can. It's clear water. But he's several hundred feet down, right? So it's yeah, that's true. Kind of dark. It's dark. It's dark as fuck. So, although you do have dark vision, but still, and with the staff, I can. It would not my staff. With my thing, if I did use it, I can see. Yeah. So I don't know how long that power lasts. You don't have dark vision. No, I don't have dark vision. I can't see jack shit in dark. Right, but you do have a light ability. Uh, I have a torch. Yeah, that won't work. So you can't see jack. Unless if I use the hammer. Unless you use the hammer. No, wait a minute. I can see, uh, I can see and move underwater. Yes, that's right. You can see and move underwater. That's right. I keep forgetting, you know, because I watch documentaries all the time, that underwater is dark, because all the documentaries, they have these great big light things that they're hanging over the bottom of the ocean. Remind me when we get to the city of no name to see if I can remedy some of that situation here. Um, that's up to you. The city with no name is filled with dwarves and gnomes of all kinds of abilities. That was mostly towards the party, not you, not you directly. <clears throat> <laughs> so I'm sure we'll find um, something once we get there, bud. Yep. Um, I'll just I'll, I'll just see you guys in a couple of days then. <laughs> the vegetation around Lake Fire is you're still in the plains, <clears throat> obviously. But the vegetation around Lake Fire is tall grasses and, um, like, cat of nine tails and things like that. Um, the edge of the water is teeming with life. Snakes, frogs, birds, all kinds of stuff. And they do spend small amounts of time in the water, but there are no fish. Um, and occasionally, occasionally, there are bubbles. Not like boiling, but just bloop, every once in a while. And they smell like sulfur. Oh, so volcanic at Lake. But yep. again... To a certain point deep, it is very comfortably swimmable. So, uh, like the hot springs in China. Kind of like the hot springs. Um, but oh, you mean China very, made? Very, very deep. Where's that Japan? I don't remember. There Those used are... to be. They're in Japan, you're thinking of, but there are also hot springs like everywhere. Where like Colorado. Colorado is some great. 
where the X is right next to the M where the Staff of Minions used to be? Um, he did. Yeah. Where we it used it. to be. I.e. when I first made this adventure. Things have changed. I but mean, we recovered the Staff of Minions, X right? Is, there used to be a human halfling um... Resource. Resource. Um, yeah, right at, right basically at the X. Um and it's still there, it's just it hasn't been used in hundred years. Woo. The bottle is cracked, the vegetation is taken over. Am I the only person fairly interested? I mean I'm kinda What's kind that? Of something about there being orcs nearby, maybe? I don't know. No, I think the orcs are gone by now. No, I'm cracking the wall happened somewhere, I believe, over here. No, I'm I'm making a joke that about being abandoned because orc country is nearby. But uh, yeah, the the there is a resort there still, but it is it's in disuse for like fifty to one hundred years. There hasn't been anybody there. Still interested, possibly. Um, No, I'm kind of curious about it. And that. uh, where did that little dot come from? Anyway, um, <laughs> that's me underneath the ocean, uh, underneath the lake. So that is where we are going to pick up. Is right here at the edge of Lake Fire. Um, and I've already described it, so I can go right into the adventure here. But that'll be next week. All right. Uh, be prepared next week. Um, a lot of stuff has to happen at Lake Fire. Okay. Um, it doesn't all have to happen in one week, but I'd like to get through as much of it as possible. Someone tell John that we're probably really going to need him next week. That's it's up to him. I mean, I I pretty much plan to play without him every week. And when he shows up, it's a bonus. Uh, He has a very busy life. I'm not saying anything against him. I still like him. He's still a good friend of mine. If I get married, I want him there. Um, It's just he has a very busy, unpredictable life. So we we have to give him that flexibility. So I plan without him. And then if he's there, I have a plan B. Um, but that's that's it from me this week. Um, I, I think Victor is very satisfied with this a- episode of D and D. I I don't know if yeah. uh, Jasmine wants to include us in her outro the way she did including us in her intro. Bye but, everyone. But I, I will say that next week is going to be filled with a lot of stuff. Have your rolling ready because there's going to be a lot of dice involved in next week and I'm going to need everybody to uh, like, pay attention because like Lake Fire things. is full of interesting little things that people are going to need to pay attention to. Okay, so find a hack for World 20 to get natural 20s. Got it. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Find a <laughs> hack to get nothing but 20. And the DM will see that and go, oh, I'm turning that 20 into a 1 because you rolled 4. <laughs> what if I accidentally roll four that have nothing to do with a hack? Unlikely, but we'll have to wait until the fifth roll to find out. <laughs> Another 20. Okay, go to straight to jail. <laughs> Your character is unconscious for the rest of the day because... <laughs> I am just so damn good that he impressed himself to death. Somehow the druid lady buried you at the bottom of the lake Again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to be in the city of no name, and I just suddenly find myself at the bottom of Lake Fire again. Okay. <laughs> Next All time, right. I'll bring a deck of cards. All right. <laughs> That's all we got for you tonight, folks. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. I'm cutting paper. Hey guys, thanks for watching Sunday Night D&D. 
I hope you like the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you are informed when I upload new YouTube videos. Also, you can check me out live on my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description of this video. I stream every Sunday night for live D&D roleplay at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And, of course, I play other games very regularly on there as well. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next game. Bye!